That still left the big mystery. Other symptoms shared by both mother and daughter, the infections, the scar tissue, and Deborah's knotted hands. So their blood samples were sent to the San Diego-based genetic testing company, Illumina. And what Illumina found was stunning. Genetic evidence pointing to an extremely rare condition with just six known patients. Home in Alaska, their longtime family doctor, Dwight Ellerby, delivered the news. It's called warburg sonati syndrome. As far as I can tell from the reports at this point, it is not a fatal gene. Oh. <laughs> warburg sonati syndrome could be one of the world's most obscure diseases. A Danish ophthalmologist identified the first patient in 2006. In 2013, an Italian dermatologist identified the second. Then late last year, an international research team identified four more, and the gene responsible, DDR2. Illumina found a variation on that gene in the samples Deborah and Delaney sent and connected the dots. We have a name, we for, have a something, name for something. You know? And with that, Deborah and Delaney have made medical history. Oh my gosh. Deborah and Delaney, welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. You've just heard that you are the seventh and eighth patients to ever in the world be diagnosed with this. You're smiling, it's a serious diagnosis, but you've been looking for eight, for what, 12 years? 12 yes. Years. And so what is your reaction now that you've had time to process it? I am absolutely ecstatic to know that we aren't the only ones.